Okay, we'll see how this turns out. This is my first attempt at this, so bear with me. Uh, I've been watching a lot of videos on here the last couple weeks. I've uh, been interested in lightweight backpacking due to the fact that uh, I want to do some scouting this fall coming up right now um, and also next spring and summer for hunting next year. I moved to a new area of Utah and kind of checking out a couple spots and just want to be able to go real easy after work on like a Friday night hiking three four miles um, where nobody is and be able to camp really easy set up and take down so right now for the last couple of years the amount of my camping which I do a lot of has been in a huge cabin tent that with all my camping gear takes up the entire back of my f-350 so haven't backpacked for about 12 years uh, had a kid and he's too small to go with me so now that he's bigger we'll probably start up again but anyway watching a bunch of videos and one of the biggest things that I noticed was the tarp tent uh, seemed to be a very good option so I got this Kelty Noah's tarp it's a 12 by 12 <coughs> excuse me I had a hard time deciding between it and a couple others but ended up going to my local REI which I love and they had this one which had been opened which I didn't care everything was there uh, for 49 bucks so couldn't pass that up and got it and this is the first time I've had a chance to kind of set it up my lights dying and uh, I was going for a different configuration at first but this is what I ended up with and it's actually not too bad I kind of like it so let me show you again real quick this is a Kelty Noah's Tart 12 which you can see right there 12 by 12 tarp with the cat cut on the ends um, I'll explain that goofy PVC pole in a minute but um, what I basically did was started out I was originally gonna fold the back under and tag it down and that didn't work because it didn't give me enough room so I basically folded the back two corners under and then just kind of spread it out and um, on the sides here and made a wide shelter out of it underneath um, I'm six foot three so that is my sleeping bag in there which you can see it's a marmot uh, I can't remember what the model is now but um, it's almost seven feet long because it's a long version and as you can see it goes all the way across so I could actually have two people in there and possibly um, my son as well uh, me and my son no problem so it's a good size uh, all it is is one stick in the front um, I've seen a lot of videos where people use the trekking poles I've personally never used a trekking pole I may start the I um, was looking at them today and the adjustability would be really nice for setting up the height on this uh, a lot better than cutting a stick to the right length which I need to kill an elm tree in my yard anyway so that's what got sacrificed um, but it's got quite a bit of room it goes back as you can see all the way back here um, I wanted to pick the ridge line up just a little bit so that is my temporary tree is essentially what that is you wouldn't bring a PVC pipe with you or I won't in the wilderness uh, no reason to I would set up in a tree area where I could get some more shelter from the wind and just uh, tie that up to a tree to hold the back end up a little bit so I had more headroom inside but that's all that's there for so don't laugh at me too much um, it's got a real low profile um, yet it has quite a bit of room in it and like I said the back corners are folded up so you could put some gear on top of that tarp in the back my pack would actually fit on the backs that are in there so that it would make it easy to keep everything dry inside um, kind of a trapezoid shape as it's pulled back there but it's fairly simple all I used was that Kelty tarp <coughs> pardon me I've been getting over a really bad cough um, and some groundhog steaks and some uh, paracord so real simple lightweight which is what I've been trying to do I'm not going extreme lightweight spending a bunch of money I know how to do leather work but not really sewing yet or I don't really have a plan to learn so I'm gonna have a tough time with that gonna have to buy what I want but I don't want to spend a ton of money so that's the reason I went with this Kelty it was a good price and it looks like it's gonna fit what I want to do hopefully before it gets too cold I'll get out and try it a couple times and I'll definitely let you guys know how that works this uh, again I mentioned Kelty tarp 
paracord. Um, I can pull this stake out, um, two reasons. I'll show you here. My saw had pretty tight grip on it. Um, these are the MSR Groundhog stake. And they were real cheap, like two bucks at REI. And they're pretty lightweight and they pound in really easily. And they hold really well. Um, all I've ever used is the cheapo stakes or some big heavy nails that I use with my my large cabin tent as I mentioned. Um, these I like better than all of those. So I got 10 of them. And just for this configuration, there's 15 tie downs on here. Because I'm kind of OCD, I'll probably buy 15. So five more. So that if I really want to, I can... Actually, I think there may be more tie downs on there than that, but... I'll probably buy about another five more to have in there just in case so if it's really windy I can really stake it down but these are really good um, a lot of people like them I tend to agree just in a little bit that I've used them pulling them in and out checking this out they hold very well and uh, they can take a beating pretty good the other ones like I said this one I pounded on quite a bit and as you can see um, the anodized on there is still really good even though I hammered it and I believe I used my claw hammer my framing hammer that's got waffling on it so that's that's nice anyway so that's there um, one thing I was gonna point out too is if you were in real bad weather you could actually unpin both of those and drop them in and get a little bit more protection from the weather um, and even restake them back down or tie them together I do have some mosquito netting <coughs> that I was gonna use if it's bugs and stuff and wrap around the front so that'll work just fine for what I'm doing uh, anyway real basic like I said this is uh, my first time on trying to make a video to show everybody what I'm doing I've got quite a bit of gear that I've just kind of picked up over the last couple days that I'll uh, be putting together for my essentials list trying to get it fairly light and let you guys know how much that ends up weighing and then I pl plan on doing quite a few more configurations with this tarp to see what will happen with it and some other ways to set it up for more people less people I also have a hammock I'm gonna try it with so hopefully I'll get those done soon and go from there but uh, until next time hope everybody else has a good time camping and we will see you later thanks for watching bye